All right, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the fellow, the fellow laborers pushing his word, enduring afflictions. Okay, so I'm in transit. So I want to do a, um, a quick lesson through the spirit. The spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right, we're um, as men, as men of the Lord, as prophets. Okay, because we we are the prophets. There's no doubt about that. All right, you know, and I say that in meekness, but I also say that in boldness. Okay, and that's the uh, that's the mind frame that you should have. You should have. You should be bold. You should be bold in the Lord. Okay. We, we do say this humbly because the scriptures also say that he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Also, the scriptures say, Matthew 22 and 14, many are called, but few are chosen. Okay. Now, the scriptures also say to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. You should not fail. Okay. So the, the scriptures clearly outline the characteristics of of of, of yeah, the men of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, what they will be doing in the last days, the mind frame they will have, okay, what they will be occupied in. All right, and one of the main things that you should be occupied in, okay, is the meditation of the of, of these prophecies, okay. So I got a prophecy. I got a prophecy that I want to bring out, very, uh, just real quick. You know, I didn't I didn't prepare. A big lesson I'm just speaking what's on my mind what I've been meditating on I've been meditating on the scripture Malachi the fourth chapter you know because we say all these things in boldness of the Lord and we believe in faith right we believe in faith our faith has to be increased even more and that's by staying occupied by staying under the secret place of Yahweh by staying in the, in the in the grace of the Lord okay by abounding in faith, by abounding in the grace, by being bold, by being a soldier, okay, by having the whole armor on, okay, this thing is very complex, this truth, but it's also simple, don't let the um, the complexity fool you, this this truth of, of Yahweh Shai is very simple, okay, ultimately you just have to have faith, and through the faith, the Lord, he works on your mind, and then he builds you up, to become a, 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 a full a full grown man in this truth. Now we are still babes. I know I'm still a babe. Certain brothers are older than others in the Lord. At the same time, we have the desire of that that sincere milk. Okay, and we have to stay uh, dedicated. We have to stay on the teeth, so to speak. All right. So th let me go right into the prophecy. So this is Malachi four and one. For behold, the day cometh. What what is the day? What is that day coming? Are right, the scriptures always talking about this day that's coming, man? All right. What is the day coming? It's the day of destruction. All right. This is this is what since the beginning of time. This is what it's about. All right. It's the day of the Lord. That great day of destruction. All right. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as a oven. When 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 in history name sight. The date, the time, where the the, the when the day was a was shall burn as an oven, man. All right, you put something in an oven long enough, it's gonna it's gonna burn to a crisp. All right, this is the day that the, the Lord is likening this day unto. We 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 know that this is the this is the the, the hour. That the hour of great judgment, judgment on America, judgment on the two thirds of our people, judgment on the so called white man, the beast. Okay, all you so-called white people, all you Edomites, all right, that's a that's more of a befitting name. All right, all you Edomites, all you heathens, all the wicked of our people, all right, this day is gonna burn. It says, Yea, all that do wickedly. What's wickedness? You have to ask yourself that. If you, if you don't read these scriptures with fear, if you don't, if you're not moved with fear. Then there's something wrong with you. 
You read a scripture like this, and you be like, man, the day, the day burneth, and all that do wickedly, all right? What's, what's doing wickedly? It's transgression. Okay? Also, also, not having faith. That's wickedness. That's sin. That not actually have faith is sin. All right? Let me continue. Shall be stubble. Stubble is dirt. All right? Stubble is, is, is uh, very, very small uh, uh, pieces of dirt that's broken up. All right? It says... And, and the day, and that day shall come, shall burn them up. So the Lord is all about burning people up, man, with high fire. This is how he's going to judge and plead with all flesh. He's going to send, he's going to send that fire on the planet Earth. And how is he going to send that fire on the planet Earth? It's through the next war. World War Three. All right, that's how he's going to send that fire on the planet Earth. Okay. If you think this is a, if you think it's a, it's a joke, this this day is going to be this day is going to be great and terrible. All right, this this day is going to come very quickly. The Lord said, "Behold, I come if I come if quickly, and my reward is in my hand." All right, either you're going to get a reward, you're going to get the reward of the wicked, which is total annihilation, total total destruction. You're going to be made stubble. Okay, you're going to be made unto like a a a, a burnt burnt wood and then that 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 soot that's on the ground that's how the lord he's going to turn you into that all right you think the lord he he's he's a he's a god of all love what's your whole your whole perception of love is all augmented due to the precepts of the so-called white man due to the understanding of the so-called white man and your wicked and vain heart all right let me continue it says shall burn them up said the lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. When you when you leave neither root nor branch, it's no more in existence. Okay, that's that's what the Most High is likening the wicked. That shall receive this judgment. It's all about judgment day, and you people know in your spirit that judgment day is coming. All right, judgment day is judgment day is coming. It's fast, it's fast approaching. Okay, let me get another scripture. This is a uh, this is Zechariah fourteen and twelve, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite. Let me read it again, Slakia. Verse 12, and this shall be the plague where, where the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that's his true name, that's his proper name, that's his only name, okay? The Father within the Father in the name of the Son will smite the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Alright, even two-thirds of our people have fought against us. So the Lord, He's gonna plead. He's going to plead with two thirds of our people by that nuclear, by that nuclear fire. All right. Let me continue. Also, also, let me, let me, let me bring this into account. Also, is you heathen nations, the so-called white men. You can read about this in Psalms 83rd chapter. The Lord, he doesn't leave out any of these nations. Okay. All, all you nations are going to receive, you're going to receive, uh, the things that you have done to the nation of Israel, you're going to receive your reward. And the reward is going to be just and righteous. All right, I parked, so let me let me finish up the scripture. Their flesh, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. So that great day in Malachi 4 and 1, that shall burn as an oven, is talking about the nuclear war that's going to befall America. Okay, in different parts of of the earth, Let, but let's 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 uh, hone in on America, man. Let's hone in on this wicked wicked kingdom. Okay, well you got sex robots, man. You got sex robots. Are right, you got proud ass women? You got the so called white man and his his disgusting, detestable, perverse uh 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 uh, 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 uh policies. All right, 
This place is to totally wicked. All right. That's the, the, and, and that's why in Revelation 18 chapter, it talks about her sins have reached unto heaven. So the Lord, he has he has everything laid out in front of him. He has all your sins and the befitting judgment of your sins is total annihilation. It's total destruction of, of, of the wicked. OK, that's why it says take uh, how for her, take bomb for her. That she may be healed. If she if she possibly can be healed, healed, Babylon can't be healed. Babylon cannot repent. OK, it talks about that Esau. He's a, he, he's the man that cannot repent. OK, let me continue and finish up. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. All right. So this so this great judgment that's going to come to you, wicked Americans. All right. Two thirds of you Israelites, because the scriptures say among my people are found wicked men. Wicked men, women and children. That's all that you have here in America out of the uh, out, out of the nation of Israel. All right, they're going to be totally destroyed. You so-called white people, you Edomites, you're going to you're going to you're going to you're going to get burnt up. Your reality, your reality is going to your, your this this nuclear destruction is going to become your reality. Okay. Gr great pains is going to become your reality. Okay. This is destruction is going to come so quick and fast it's going to take you by surprise. And 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 the people that you thought were were the lowest people on the planet Earth. The people that you thought that had had no that 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 the Most High have forgotten. Alright, we're gonna be your rulers. Alright, we're gonna put you in captivity. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna subdue you. We're gonna put you in subjection. We're gonna put hell upon you. Alright, we're gonna oppress you continually. Alright, until we exterminate you. That's the judgment for the wicked, man. Alright, so everybody's gonna re receive a war in these last days. Whether it's the reward of the wicked, which is destruction by nuclear fire. This fire that can consume your eyes away while you stand, that can consume your tongue away while you stand. That's going to dematerialize you. OK, you're going to feel your body dematerialize right before your eyes. You're going to see your children die right before your eyes. You're going to see all your hopes and your dreams die before uh, uh, vanish. they are going to disappear right before your eyes. OK, all the all the wealth that you have, uh, have you um, have you stocked up? All your hopes and dreams that you have for your family uh, upon your generation. The scriptures say that they believe that their houses shall continue forever, man. No, nah, your, your house, which is your safe dwelling place, is not going to continue. It's going to be totally destroyed in this day. This day is fast approaching. And it's all about the prophecies coming to pass, okay? All these prophecies are coming to pass. And the Lord, he's going to wipe you out. He's going to wipe out the wicked. You know, so with that, I want to say shalom.